Here are several instances of restaurants from the past that have since closed down. We'll explore the reasons behind their closures and delve into how these establishments operated. Automat. 1912 to 1991, various locations. The Automat was a chain of self-service restaurants known for coin-operated vending machines serving food. Customers could insert coins to access dishes like sandwiches, pies, and hot beverages. The Automat struggled to adapt to changing dining trends and competition from fast food chains, leading to the closure of its last location in 1991. Delmonico's 1827 to 1923, New York City. Delmonico's in New York City is often considered one of the first fine dining restaurants in the United States. It introduced the concept of a la carte dining, where customers could choose individual dishes from a menu. Delmonico's remained a prominent dining destination for nearly a century but faced financial challenges during the early 20th century and ultimately closed its doors in 1923. Schrafts. 1900s to 1980s, various locations. Schrafts was a chain of upscale, women-friendly restaurants in the United States. It offered a menu featuring sandwiches, salads, and ice cream, making it popular for ladies' luncheons. Changing dining habits and increased competition from fast food chains led to the decline of Schrafts, with the last location closing in the 1980s. Brown Derby 1926 to 1985, Los Angeles The Brown Derby was a chain of restaurants in Los Angeles, known for their distinctive derby hat-shaped buildings. The menu offered a range of American dishes, including the famous Cobb salad. Over time, the Brown Derby chain faced challenges due to competition and changing dining preferences. The original Hollywood location closed its doors in 1985. Lums. 1956-1980s, Nationwide. Lums was a chain of fast food restaurants known for its signature steamed hot dogs. It also served hamburgers, beer, and other fast food items. Lums struggled with expansion, financial troubles, and increased competition, which eventually led to the decline and closure of most of its locations in the 1980s. Bickford's 1920s to 2000s, Northeastern U.S. Bickford's was a chain of family-style restaurants, primarily located in the Northeastern United States. It offered a variety of traditional American dishes and a famous breakfast menu. Changing dining preferences and financial difficulties led to the gradual closure of Bickford's locations over the years, with the last ones closing in the 2000s. Sambo's 1957-1980s, Nationwide Sambo's was a chain of family-style restaurants known for its breakfast offerings, including pancakes and coffee. Overseas surrounding the chain's name, which was derived from a children's book with racial connotations, led to boycotts and negative publicity. This, combined with increased competition, contributed to its decline and closure in the 1980s. Wimpy's 1930s to 1970s, nationwide. Wimpy's was a chain of fast food restaurants known for its hamburgers. It featured a character named J. Wellington Wimpy from the Popeye comic strip. Increased competition from larger fast food chains like McDonald's and Burger King, along with changing consumer tastes, led to the decline and closure of Wimpy's locations in the 1970s. Clifton's Cafeteria 1935 to 2018, Los Angeles 
Clifton's Cafeteria in Los Angeles was known for its eclectic decor and cafeteria-style dining. It offered a wide range of comfort foods, including roast turkey and jello. Despite its nostalgic charm, Clifton's Cafeteria faced financial difficulties in changing dining trends, leading to its closure in 2018. Bob's Big Boy 1940s to 1980s, Central Coast and Nationwide Bob's Big Boy was a chain of drive-in restaurants known for its burgers and milkshakes. It featured a signature Big Boy double-decker hamburger. Changes in dining habits and increased competition from fast food chains led to the decline of Bob's Big Boy, with many locations closing in the 1980s. Van de Camps 1915-1990s, Southern California Van de Camps was known for its bakeries and seafood restaurants. It was famous for its windmill-shaped bakeries and Dutch-style pastries. Economic challenges and changing consumer tastes led to the closure of Van de Camps restaurants and bakeries in the 1990s. Brenner's Cafeterias 1930s to 1970s, Central Coast and Texas Brenner's Cafeterias were popular self-service restaurants known for offering a wide variety of dishes, from comfort food to desserts. Changes in dining habits and competition from other dining formats contributed to the decline of Brenner's Cafeterias, with most locations closing in the 1970s. Buddy's Diner 1930s to 1960s, Central Coast and Nationwide Buddy's Diner was a chain of diners known for their classic American diner fare, including burgers, fries, and milkshakes. As the diner industry evolved, Buddy's Diner faced competition in changing consumer preferences, leading to the closure of its locations in the 1960s. Shakey's Pizza Parlor 1954-1980s, Nationwide Shakey's was a chain of pizza parlors known for its pizza, fried chicken, and lively atmosphere. It featured live banjo music and was a popular family dining destination. Increased competition from other pizza chains and changing dining trends led to the decline of Shakey's, with many locations closing in the 1980s. Duff's Famous Smorgasbord 1956 to 1980s, Central Coast and Nationwide Duff's was a chain of buffet-style restaurants known for their all-you-can-eat smorgasbord of American and international dishes. Changing dining habits and increased competition in the buffet restaurant industry led to the decline and eventual closure of Duff's locations in the 1980s. These historical restaurants from the United States each had their unique contributions to American dining culture and faced different challenges leading to their eventual closures.